You see the, the lines in the face, it, it says a lot of, of, of life. Uh, he was with, there with his family and he had such a beautiful face, I couldn't resist to take his picture. I always lived on the Danube. I was born here. And yes, I have a good life. I'm married since over 30 years. I work at the hydro power station. And I have a hobby with what I love. When I'm walking to my office, there is a lot of time for thinking about India. I remember and saying, Steve McCurry has said, if you want to take good pictures, you have to leave home. And that's what I'm doing. An endless flow of colors and people. It's like a musical and I'm the onlooker, always curious. I always would like to see what is uh, around the next corner. Thank you. I had a lot of cameras. Large format also. I, may, I had my own dark room. Yeah. Now with the smartphone I have it everywhere, everywhere with me. You are not recognized as a photographer. You are almost invisible. Since a few years, I do only people, mostly only people photography and street photography. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> I always go closer and closer. It's not so easy to find your own way. It takes a long time, I think. This is human and uh, I try to show his life in, in his face. A face where you can see the life. That's what I'm looking for. And that's what, what I love. I was interested in other people who are also doing mobile photography and there was a competition it was worldwide, but I thought I'd try, and suddenly I won. Yeah, this is, this is really strange for me. I couldn't believe it. That's my hobby since over 30 years. Enjoy the life, it's very short. It's very, really short. You will see it when you become 40 and past the 40, you will see it's very short. When you have children, they are so small and then become very big, tall, then you see that life is very short. It was a dream when I was 20, 25 to, to start a career as a professional photographer. I never thought that this will happen, but now maybe we'll see.